Good morning, Dr. PK from Dr. PK Live. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very important topic. Somebody asked me um, other day in my live, TikTok live, and I wanted to, again, put this video out there for sugar addiction. It's about sugar addiction. We all love sugar. Who does not? I mean, I love sugar too, but I, I handle it differently than a lot of other people. Um, so what is why people have sugar addiction? The physiology behind sugar addiction involves a complex interplay of brain chemistry, hormones, and gut signals that mimic the way addictive drugs like nicotine or cocaine affect the body. Here's the breakdown. So dopamine and the brain reward system. Dopamine is the key player. When you consume sugar, it stimulates the release of dopamine, the feel-good hormone, the neurotransmitter. Um, in the nucleus accumbens, the brain's reward center. So repeated stimulation causes tolerance, just like with drugs, frequent sugar intake can lead to reduced dopamine receptor sensitivity meaning you need more sugar to achieve the same pleasure. So result is craving, binge, crash, repeat. This forms the cycle, addiction cycle. Craving, binge, crash, and repeat. Insulin and blood sugar roller coaster. Rapid spikes in blood glucose from sugary foods cause your pancreas to secrete insulin. Insulin clears sugar from the blood and stores in the fat. As the blood sugar drops, you feel tired, moody, sleepy, hungry, um, often looking for more sugar. So this hypoglycemic crash intensifies cravings, creating a vicious cycle. Cortisol and emotional eating. A stress activates cortisol, which increases your appetite um, and preference for high sugar and high fat food. Cortisol also interferes with insulin sensitivity, worsening blood glucose fluctuation. Emotional stress can trigger comfort eating, reinforcing the dopamine sugar connection. Ghrelin, leptin, and hunger signaling disruption. Leptin is a satiety hormone that tells you that, oh, you are full now, you don't need to eat. And so leptin becomes resistant in chronic sugar consumer means they don't work, they don't give negative feedback to body that you're full. Um, even with enough energy, your body, your brain does not get the full signal. Ghrelin is the hunger hormone that increases pushing you to eat more. Result, you stay hungry, especially for carbs and sugar. Gut brain axis and microbiome imbalance. Sugar feeds but bad gut bacteria and is like candida, which in turn produce chemicals that stimulate sugar cravings via the vagus nerve. So a, a dysbiotic gut, a imbalanced gut can affect mood, cognition, willpower, fueling addictive behavior. Endorphins and emotional relief. Sugar also in releases endorphins, so natural painkillers. People often crave sugar during sadness or anxiety because it gives them a temporary emotional lift. But over the time, this creates physiological dependency, not just physical. The summary of sugar addiction. Sugar causes dopamine hit, leads to pleasure. Repeated use, dopamine receptor down regulation, leads to withdrawal, irritability, fatigue, and cravings. Sugar becomes the quick fix. So here you have it. And sugar addiction. Um, the one most important thing you can do for yourself is cut out or reduce consumption of sugary foods, sugary drinks, including fruit juices and fruits if you're trying to lose weight. And that would be transformative changes. So that's definitely one of the best way to be healthy is to cut out your sugar consumption um, in very drastic way. And if you can have a sugar-free life, you're gonna be healthiest. 
I would say that have few days in a month called cheat days and those days you should be able to indulge a bit but the rest of the time you got to be disciplined. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. PK.